It doesn't mean that you're that you're good or bad. It doesn't matter if judgments come in you. It doesn't matter if opinions come in you. It doesn't matter if projections come in you. You're going to see it at some point and you're going to wind it all back into yourself. If the pull is for freedom, we're going to take every opportunity to transmute and shift and bring everything to divine love, right? The only thing that can transmute it all is divine love. So that is why what we're speaking of is that when anything and everything comes forward, it doesn't, it's not about doing the work psychologically. It's not about doing the work in a worldly way. It's about transmuting everything as sensation, releasing the narrative and the wisdom of the expression, because the expression doesn't mean you're stuck in a story. It doesn't mean anything. It's freeing. It's freeing the patterns of limitation. It's freeing to be able to express. It's freeing to be able to express. I'm angry. I'm really angry about that. Right? So much taboo around anger. Don't be angry. Don't be angry. Don't show your anger. Don't show your anger. Right? So we repress it. We push it down. Anger is really a, a big one. Of course, there are other things that we repress. We repress our sadness. We repress our, our feelings of, of, of being hurt and upset. But anger is such a, such a big one that we... It's such a huge part of the collective imbalance and the way that the power imbalance plays is that we, we, were, we had all of our emotions tempered when we were children, right? Everything was tempered. So we learned not to show anything. If you're angry, you might even get told off for being angry. You might even be punished for being angry, right? So definitely push that down, right? And if you're sad or you're hurt or you're, you're upset about something, we would likely be given uh, some kind of distraction to numb it, to distract away from it. We weren't just held in total presence, right? And that's why being held in total presence while the young one can say, I feel angry, I feel angry, I feel angry, I feel angry, I feel furious. I feel really, really angry. And we can let those, those sensations and those flows of consciousness that have been held in these limited patterns of don't be angry, don't be angry, don't show your anger, don't show your emotions. Definitely don't show that you're angry. Right? Don't show that you're sad or you're upset because you need to you need to appear to be happy for everyone. You need to make like a happy situation because you need to try and make the situation that you're living in be acceptable, right? You don't want people to get angry and upset and cause conflict and disturbance. So we'll push it all down, right? So this is where the patterns of limitation, the learned patterns of limitation which are these suppressed patterns of consciousness that are held as past, as memory in the nervous system. And that is why all of this stuff has to be able to be transmuted and released. And we can release it as feeling the sensation, feeling the sensation. But sometimes it's necessary to allow this expression, to really allow the expression in order for the feelings to come forward deeper, deeper. Stresses come forward. And we really want to allow the stresses to come forward to, for the nervous system to unwind, right? So the laws of nature, the nature can flow free. Your true nature can be free, right? This is really what we're speaking of. It gets called awakening gets called enlightenment, but it's freeing the laws of nature, 
freeing the patterns of limitation, freeing the holding patterns, shaking it all out, shaking it all off. And let us use whatever means we have within our human experience to shake it off, to free it all. Let's use our voices. Let's use our bodies, right? That's why we can say that the body, the holding in the body is like a wisdom. The holding in the body is this wisdom that when we allow it to move, when we really allow the tensions to be able to be freed and we allow the expression to come forward, we're freeing the patterns in the laws of nature to come to a more open flow, a more natural flow, right? We're coming to our true nature. We're coming to the essential nature. That is why we cannot be fully clear and open in the true nature if the body is holding all of this tension and the consciousness is holding all these patterns of limitation. We can come to the transcendent and we can open in the transcendent, but at some point, <laughs> the body is going to start calling in some way. We can keep pushing it away, but it has a wisdom. And the wisdom is usually repressed tensions and holding patterns in consciousness that is creating mm, messages through the body's dis ease and discomfort that are just trying to surface, right? So this is what is really happening in this whole unfolding. Nothing is hiding. Reality is here. But if we try to chase the idea of freedom without including everything in that and finding how everything is included, then we're not going to be able to really free these holding patterns that are releasing the laws of nature out of their contraction, right? The great imbalance of the collective consciousness is that the laws of nature are held in patterns. They're being held in, in these patterns of imbalance and it's all one. So we can't actually be completely free of that until we free, we free our entanglement in it by using our disturbances that come up in the collective, in the, in the projected world, in the play of the world. We use the appearance of what the world and the play of life to find the places where we're stuck, right? You find the places that you're stuck, divided, fragmented, protecting, defensive, defensive, conditioned, holding, separating. And we use all of this as the fuel for freedom by meeting it and allowing it to come forward into the great wide open expansive truth of the one heart into the presence of divine love into the presence of the light that we know is the true nature and when we can feel all of this that we're speaking of today in a very neutral natural open way where we don't make anything wrong there's nothing wrong with anyone it doesn't matter what the life looks like, what the characters you're playing. Where we have learned to make ourselves wrong are the greatest places of holding. Self-hatred, self-judgment, the unloving, unkind ways that we can be with ourselves are the greatest places of holding, the greatest hiding places. And they are the places that feel the hardest to reveal because we feel like we can't bring this forward. 
because it's not acceptable. But the only one that it is finding it unacceptable is your own mind. It's what you can't accept about yourself. And that's why part of this unfolding is being able to bring forward these places where we feel this part of me is unacceptable. This part of me is unlovable. This part of me is bad. This part of me is not good. This part of me has got something wrong with it. This part of me is not okay, is broken. It's when we can actually welcome and bring forward and allow all of these places to express into the presence of love, of a holding, when there's absolutely no defense against them. There's, the, there's not the defense that's triggered by them, right? There's, it's not like a, an ego ping pong match. And there's no defense, defense that says, oh, no, no, you're not that. You're not. You're good, right? Because we can't transmute on that level. You're good. You're, you're kind. Look at all the things you've achieved in your life. Look how wonderful you are. Look at your family. Look how lovely they are, right? Look at, look at your successes. Look at all the good things about you and don't focus on that. What I would say here is let's focus upon the places that feel broken. Let's hold them. Let's hold them so that they have the courage to come forward and be completely held in an openness that doesn't defend in any way against them, doesn't guard, doesn't move in a worldly way with them in, at all, that just is the open space of presence that allows whatever wants to be expressed to be expressed. 